Gary Ablett. He's without a doubt the best we've seen. We all know Gary, what Gary Ablett can do. We've seen like how good he can be. Mm. You know, what did he rack up one time against Collingwood? Fifty-two touches or something like that. Oh yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't won two Brownlow medals for no reason. Yeah. So I think he's got to be the one to have, and followed closely by Nat Bright, Premier. Yeah. yeah, five. Star. Yeah. Arguably, arguably, Gary could have won a few more Brownlow medals, but he's always been in contention. Yeah, possibly should have. Really. Yeah. I, mean, I think he went into two Brownlow medal counts today, but more than both. Didn't win either yeah. of them, yeah. He's, he's been the best I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do you think Matt Fife will take over that mantle? Yeah. Or do you think Gary stay, If he stays on the path, but if he keeps playing like he did last year, there's no, there's no question. He'd be, I mean, he's just... He, he kicks think, goals, he's got such a big body, he can do everything. He is only one... Four years old, I think. Yeah. Um, it's got eight, ten years left. I think, I think this new rotation system, it'll mean it play forward a lot more. I think, oh, yeah. Which is going to be frightening for any of the half back. Same, back. Yeah, same yeah. with Patrick Dangerfield. You saw that yeah. in the Nav Cup. He just looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, he's yeah. one that's really impressed me. I was watching, I was at, I was at the pub the other time, oh, well, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, just having a, having a farmer and, uh, and a geese at a couple of, you know. Yeah, Cups Cups of Cups of well. Woody. yeah. Um, but they had they had a replay of the Ge- uh, Geelong, um, but it was Geelong yes, and then I think game. And every time I looked at the screen, it was just David kicking a goal, running out the the oh. rock and kick. You know, he's just he's, he just looked like he had the ball every time. I think I yeah. Saw the screen. And the AFL captain on the AFL website, um, when they had the AFL captains day, they did a survey on yeah. uh, who they think will win the Brownlow, and uh, Patrick Dangerfield was the top one. I think followed by Nat Fife. Dan Hanabry, I think, was mentioned. Hanabry's a big chance, I reckon. Yeah, he's been a consistent yeah. follow for the last couple of years. He, he, won, he won the, um, not the Brownlow Coach, medal, Coach but the Coaches Award. Award. Yeah, well, he, he's a very good player, Hanabry. I mean, I'd even throw Mitchell in the mix, because he, he just seems to always oh. bowl well. Um, yeah, you guarantee the book on where my chance to get votes. It's just a matter of whether his teammates take more. Yeah, yeah, that's the only issue. Yeah, I mean, Sam Mitchell could win... The Brownlow, but from a few years yeah, previous. With, uh, well, I think they, they, I think, unfortunately, I mean, as, as deserved as Watson is of the award, it's like any, anything. If, a, if an Olympian's been uh, found guilty of doping, they they're stripped of their medals. I just think it's got to follow. Mm. So, unfortunately, um, I do love Watson as a player, and he was that he was a very good player that year. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think he's just gonna he's gonna get stripped of that medal. Yeah, and I think it was Cotchin and Mitchell who came second. So whether it would go to them or not, I'm not too sure. What 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 would what would you like to see though? Would you like to just see it stripped off him and just remain vacant, or would you like to see it handed down to Sam Mitchell and Trent Cotchin? Uh, look to me, it's no. Um, doesn't matter to me, but I think. Oh, it matters to Sam Mitchell and Trent Cotchin. Like if you're a like medalist, I think. As much as that looks good on for them, I don't think they'd want to, want to win that way. Whether they'd want to win a Brownlow medal from four years ago. Um, yeah, they get known as a Brownlow medalist in 15 years time, but they weren't the best player, they weren't voted the best player that year. It's just, it's a sticky situation. In some ways, it's more better to wipe off from them. Yeah, I think it kind of, it, to a much larger extent, obviously, but it does, it does draw some type of similarity with the Lance Armstrong Tour de France situation um i think i think in that case so the titles just remain vacant i don't think they actually handed it i could be wrong yeah i'm not too sure yeah, what they'll do but um i, I think a lot, a lot of like Cotchin and mitchell and a lot of the players in the league would go would, would pass in a brownlow medal for a premiership medal yeah. any day of the league no, yeah i think both those players but, both said that it wouldn't be the way they wanted to win a brownlow yeah um, um but they'd accept it yeah, well, it's, it's, like, yeah. it's given i mean it's just it, I mean, they, they feel they feel so bad for Joe Watson as well, uh, for what he's had to go through. I mean, it's taken a toll for you. Emotionally as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, there was, like, he's just had to hold that team together for probably, uh, well, arguably the worst four years, three, four years of, of the club's history. So, um, you know, it's, he's had a massive job that he's done well. Um, and I, But I think he's just, he's passed it footy now. I think he's just had enough. Yeah, I, I think do after whether he'll play on after this year or not, I'm not too sure. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, S- the the Essendon training players though, um, obviously they can't go, uh, like they can't actually train in their like club, but 
Uh, did, did you read that article how they were training at like a school? Yeah, some beads have been training. Yeah, I think. Joe Watson was. was some, like, Joe, Joe Watson was training, but it could have just been for general like yeah, fitness. Yeah, there was a group of them. I think it was Temple Watson. I think even Cramery, who's now the board, he was there as well. So there's eight or nine of them there. Maybe he wants to go on, Joe Watson. Yeah, I think you'd have to consider it, but I'm not sure what the motivation would be for that. Yeah, it's not, not a good, They're not going to be any good for a long time. He's yeah, 32 at least now. He obviously battled the last two years back with injuries, and he's actually said he didn't really love the game as yeah. much. I just don't see why he's going to come back. 